And so we did that study and we showed there was no damage uh, to the level of the AIDS drug in the bloodstream uh, to the patient's immune system or to the level of the virus in their bloodstream over 21 days of smoking uh, a government cigarette three times a day. And that led us then uh, to move on and do other research uh, looking to see whether or not cannabis had any medicinal benefit in patients with HIV. Particularly, uh, we were fortunate in California when we had a budget surplus that uh, one of our state senators established a Center for Medicinal Cannabis Research at the University of California. And that center worked out a deal with NIDA so that NIDA, the only legal source of marijuana for research in the country, would supply investigators who had been favorably peer-reviewed by the University of California Center for Medicinal Cannabis Research uh, to do clinical trials looking at the effectiveness of smoke marijuana. So I submitted a, a study to look at marijuana in patients with the painful HIV-related peripheral neuropathy, which is damage uh, to nerves in the hands and feet, for which we really didn't have any treatment. Opioid analgesics don't work well. We tried acupuncture. Uh, most people use anti-seizure medications, and these also could interact with levels of AIDS, uh, with the AIDS uh, drugs. So, so we proposed the study to see if smoked cannabis could alleviate the pain of this peripheral neuropathy, and ultimately we wound up doing a placebo control trial where 25 patients smoked real cannabis from the government and 25 smoked cannabis from which the active ingredient had been extracted, uh, and we showed that the group smoking the real cannabis uh, had a decrease not only in their peripheral neuropathy pain, but in an experimental pain that we created in the patients by heating their skin to 104 degrees and then applying capsaicin cream on top of their skin. So that study, funded by the Center for Medicinal Cannabis Research, actually is one of the first modern studies to be done that showed in a randomized placebo-controlled fashion that cannabis does have a medicinal use, and that is for treatment of HIV-related peripheral neuropathy. And when we looked at our results, the effectiveness of cannabis in that situation is comparable to the effectiveness of the drug that's most commonly used, the anti-seizure medication. Now, do I think that the government will change cannabis's Schedule One? Uh, classification, which means it has no accepted medical use on the basis of a study of 25 patients smoking cannabis and 25 smoking placebo. No, I, I think I've been around long enough to know that that's not going to do it. 